nothing? Any final thoughts, takeaways? I think somebody's going to come up here and say something. Just, just an appreciation, um, because I, this, this week has been really eye-opening for me. Um, I, I, I came here at the invite of KJ Sanchez because she couldn't be here. And, um, and although I had done some work with veteran programs, I didn't know the extent to which people were really working on this. And this weekend <laughs> has just been, I, I can't even begin to express how full my heart is right now at the work that is happening and the love that is coming from, from, from everyone um, and the conversations that are happening and the thought that's going into it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. I wanted to jump in, um, okay. and uh, I was I was feeling remiss earlier. I was speaking out from our group, and I felt like our group had said so many brilliant things that I didn't get to represent. And um, and Linda's comment, especially about reciprocal healing, and I saw that so much in the performance just now. So I did just want to underline it. You know, of um, there's been a lot of conversation about trauma and healing, and I think how many of us have healing to do and find that here and it's not a one way, it's not a transactional thing and it doesn't happen one way, but that it's a, it's a part of the reciprocal art making process and um, this has been a really healing and life affirming convening for me, so thank you all. We've got a comment back here. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, it's, this is just a appreciation and a, and a thank you. Um, Thank you, Joe Good. <laughs> thank you, Access. Thank you, Judy, for your effort, your ideas and visions to put this into action. Um, when you asked us to, uh, Joe Good, when you asked us, how do you feel? What are you thinking? What, um, I'm still, my heart is beating really fast. <laughs> And I just pretty much wanted to thank each character that you saw dancing on stage was as unique in person as they are out of uh, play and on stage. So to me, I was very, um, I'm recently, I'm sorry, I'm recently an, uh, an apprentice for, for Axis and it's been a couple of months in the dance studio learning about b movement and body and it's been a very huge appreciating journey for me recently, and I just wanted to share that because their talent has inspired me and has made me believe in dancing and in myself again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you want to grab this one? Thank you. It's just hard to uh, come down. Um, I, yes, uh, yes to everything. And um, also, I, I feel like I want to acknowledge the way in which all the work of the people in this room is about gift giving. And um, particularly want to say that I feel like I've been the recipient of many, many powerful gifts this weekend. And I know we all have been. But I also want to point out that we're all trying to navigate this world when we talk about uh, Michael's wonderful wor word of operational is, you know, it's like the, the continuous navigation that we're all making between the worlds of commerce and, um, you know, and pragmatic existence and the gifts we want to give and are giving and managing to figure out how to give in spite of um, the complexities of navigating these two worlds. And, just want to acknowledge that the gift giving is really coming through. Thanks. Don't know how to use these things. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you and to HowlRound and to NIFA. When I started this work in 2007, I'll paint a picture for you. Um, the only male dancer that I could get that knew how to move like a Marine and could bring that element to our productions was my roommate in Fallujah. Um, Joe, uh, at the time he was Sergeant Joe D'Amico, he's now in the Air Force. Um, and we were two Marines that would go to these 
showcases in New York City of dance with all these modern dancers and ballet dancers and performance art. And then we'd get into our camis and we'd get our prop M16s and we'd bring this picture of the combat zone to these stages. Um, and there was very little work going on in the arena and there was uh, smatterings here and there. And then as time went on, I got connected to people like um, Victoria. I got word of sh work that she was doing in California and Liz and, and other people that were working in this paradigm. And so to see this work develop and the importance of it grow, and then to come here and to see this community come together, um, I think HowlRound did a great uh, structuring of this in that all the boundaries were broken down and we were able to come together as a community and really create not only something for the future, but motivation to keep going. So that's my way of just saying thank you. Um, I just wanted to uh, follow up on, oops. I'll coordinate with Jamie um, on the one pager that's been requested. Um, it, it's always a little complicated. The NEA cannot advocate for the NEA. Uh, but since you've requested it, we can provide you with the requested materials. Um, and the, th the caveat that I would say, um, and we'll, we'll try to figure out how we can communicate this appropriately, but um, the one pager really focuses on 10 geographic areas. Some of them are embargoed, and, and so I'm going to have to adjust that. We're going to be announcing the final four selection sites on March 27th, right after that. So um, you, in some ways, you can say there's about to be an announcement where it's growing even further or whatever. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, what, we'll make sure that you all get that. And there's also a link to a video that's been pretty um, effective as well that we'll give to you. The other thing, I think it's great to echo um, the two veteran artists who uh, express their gratitude. Huh. Um, this is really gratifying work. And I just want you to, uh, to encourage you to keep leaning into it. And um, <laughs> if you do, be prepared to have a very complicated response for someone saying to you who has served, thank you for your service. Uh, it, there's <laughs> no better reason to have a difficult uh, emotional response than to try to sort out why this is good and why it was worth it. So I was just thinking during the talk back, um, because I'm too short for this. Um, <laughs> uh, Axis uh, has been in Tampa, and um, Dwayne is partially based in Tampa, and has actually done workshops with some of the same veterans that I do workshops with. And we just had this convening with Americans for the Arts in Tampa with the r, &R Festival. And some of the veterans that I work with on a regular basis went to see Speed Kill My Cousin, also the dance concert. So they saw Healing Wars and Dwayne perform and Roman and, um, and Makoto, who's not here, who's amazing. And um, it was so, so inspiring to them to feel like they are part of something much larger than what they're experiencing locally. And so I just want to say that what occurred to me is if there's a way for us to continue not only convening, but maybe to do exchanges or maybe some way that these projects who work with real veterans in local communities get to connect with each other and know that they are part of something larger and something national and that their voices are in the room with us even when they're not here, but it would, look, it would be fabulous to see some of them here. here. So I just wanted to offer that, thanks. Great, thank you. And I'm gonna give you the final word over there in that corner. Wow, the final word. Well, it won't be the final <laughs> word, but it'll be a final word. Well, maybe gratitude, a fa final word. I wanna echo that. I feel I, le I learned so much personally and also so much that I think will be important for the work we're trying to do. I wanted to echo what is it that makes a life worth living? You know, we, he we heard that, you know, kind of in the, the bigger sense uh, from Liz about risk, purpose, and love. And I felt that and saw that, and I, I feel so grateful for that. And I wanted to share two other things. I learned that so much of the power of what 
I, I was exposed to was in the particular. And I think all the artists know that. The power is in the particular. But I was also struck that the importance, and in a way the healing importance, is in the universal. And particularly as I watched that last piece around trauma and sharing stories of trauma, and it's universal, it's human. And that, th that magical dance between the particular and the universal, I think is the empowering structure for this whole area of work. And I think if we put it out there, I mean, I had the feeling that I'm sure many have had, why couldn't more people see what I just saw? I had this fantasy, actually, that, the, you know, could the new Secretary for Veterans Affairs have been sitting with us? Watching, just watching. Not to have an opinion, although he would, because he's a very um, humanistic person, I know him. And I just had that fantasy. And, but I think it's achievable, because the power of the work is in the universal, and if we put it out there, it will connect. So, close by gratitude. Right, thank you. Um, so uh, the, uh, just a, one final thing from my end, which is to say that, uh, as you know, it takes a ton of people to put a convening together, uh, but there's always a kind of the heart of the convening, and so Jamie named a lot of the people that have helped, and, uh, but the, the really the heart of this convening, and I know because I saw them meeting for like hours and hours and hours and hours over the last months, uh, one uh, who we mentioned earlier, Jamie Galoon, who's sitting there, uh, made this happen. <laughs> And then finally, uh, the last person I'm going to introduce to close this out is uh, Jane Preston from NIFA, who uh, has done just a tremendous amount of work. So thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> thank you. Back at you. Tomorrow is Judith Smith's birthday. So perhaps we could have another group sing along yeah. <laughs> and uh, sing happy birthday to Judith. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Judith. Mr. Happy birthday to Sarah, no one tipped us off about you, so sorry about that. Okay. Thank you all. Um, there have been a lot of thank yous, but I get to wrap them up, and my favorite thing to do is express gratitude, so <laughs> I'm going to do some more of that. And um, first of all, to all of the artists who were with us from the beginning of planning for this convening, and really were the core of building who is here, and gave us the art and the performances that wove throughout the time. Thank you to all of the artists. Uh, and, and then to call out again the HowlRound folks, Carl, David, Jamie, my pal forever. <laughs> and the amazing HowlRound um, staff and the technical folks who just always are um, so much the collaborators in making these things happen. So thank you all, this was beautiful. Um, I also... <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to thank my NIFA colleagues, particularly Keita Sullivan and Sarah Nash, who do this work every day. <laughs> Such a pleasure to work with brilliant strategists and designers and, um, and program folks. So, and thank you to the funders, Duke, Mellon, NEA, and uh, I think this is a beginning of coalescing with other funders 
to build this work. So thank you for getting it started. Okay, we're gonna be sending some stuff out. We're gonna be sending out a contact list, which many people have been requesting and, and we're on it. We're gonna get that out to you. We're gonna send out a brief evaluation and I think I will just bracket that by saying we also wanna spend some time thinking about the questions that we wanna to continue to feed out and get back and build all of this conversation over time. Um, our amazing documentation consultant, Maureen White, who has been quietly with us the whole time. I can't believe she still has fingers. Um, but Maureen has an amazing way of synthesizing themes and big picture. Uh, she'll help us with some of the questions and some of the themes. And we will get a report back out to you and, uh, and then out to the field uh, as soon as we can, can do that and start to build on that. We also, as you know, work a lot with Chris Dwyer and we'll continue those conversations with Chris about um, some follow-up in case studies and building lexicons and, and the aesthetic conversation in particular. Um, HowlRound, as Jamie and Carl and David have pointed out, is an ongoing resource. It's an ongoing place to post thoughts and writing about this. So um, consider yourselves all connected to HowlRound and of course to NEFA. Um, this is the core of our work and this has been such a revitalizing project for me. So I thank you all. Thanks. And as a last thing, if people can kind of move down, for those of you who are left here, we would love to capture one last photo. Let's actually, it, it, yeah, is it possible for everyone to come to the stage? That would be... No, 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 let's, uh, that, of course. That was the original location, actually. <laughs> yes. So beautiful, thank you so much oh, to gosh. both of you, thank you. To our people in front? Uh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly.